Hello guys and welcome to how to tech today we are going to have a look at some of the amazing images which are generated through mid journey v4 version and we'll also be looking at specific styles so one such you know styles that we use in mid journey it's it's known as the double exposure sort so for example you're seeing right now in front of your screen there is an image of a soldier and a forest right so it has uh, sort of amalgamated the uh, image of the soldier with the forest and you're getting this beautiful image similarly you can create something like this as well right so i'll show you the prompts which i have used but let us first of all see the style of double exposure right so these images are known as double exposure images so let me zoom in a bit so that we can actually see the integrate details that were created by uh, the version B4. So let's go ahead and take a look at the prompts now. Is minimalist double exposure World War One veteran soldier made of red poppies and yellow mud dripping right so which is why you are seeing the dripping effect and you'll be having four different images and you have to choose uh, the one which is meeting your needs so this is what i liked about the image which is why i went ahead to upscale the uh, image one after upscaling this is what uh, i got and then i also did a beta upscale redo okay and using this beta upscale redo is the one that you are seeing right now so this is the main thing that I have used, double exposure, right? It is going to combine your World War One veteran soldier with red poppies and yellow mud. For the next double exposure shot, what I have given is, uh, I have written it as a character design. Again, I, you have to specifically mention this as a double exposure shot. Uh, front profile of a beautiful arcane ranger, right? So this is going to combine your arcane ranger with a... A burning village filled with burning village right so soldier plus village in short after that again AI gives you four different images out of which I liked this particular image uh, using a beta upscale redo I have actually upscaled the this particular version which is where you're getting this particular image and this is also fantastic if you just go ahead and zoom in you can see the uh, integrate details Okay, now let's go ahead and see a different style, right? Okay, the next style that we are going to discuss is uh, watercolor. So as you are seeing in your screen, this is a beautiful horse and a tree watercolor. Uh, let us take a look at the prompt for here. I'm going to give a horse and a tree. Let me just go ahead and zoom this as well so that you are able to see the uh, exact prompts that I have written. A horse and a tree and vectorized RTX watercolor, full body. Uh, quite and lastly this is a very important thing uh, so I really like this particular uh, artist Yoji uh, Shinkawa okay so if you go ahead you can go ahead and google him as well and see the kind of images that uh, Yoji creates okay so this is absolutely wonderful and this is where the magic will begin because I'll show you if what happens if I do not give this Yoji Sinkawa, okay? So let me first go ahead and show you what happens if I do not give it this, okay? Uh, look how ordinary things will become. So over here, it's just a running horse in rainbow colors. Vectorized RTX watercolor full body, right? So this is what AI has given me. And let's be honest, I do not think that's uh, that it's great. I mean, it's good, but it's not that great. Not uh, in the level of mid journey so what i did was i combined this and now i changed this to a horse and a tree right and instead i kept the all the other uh, you know uh, words as same but at the end i just added by yoji shinkawa and after adding this this is the effect that you are seeing right and i think this is absolutely stunning if someone loves watercolor man you are in for a treat so let me go ahead and uh, you know show you how i created the uh, actual image that i picked so out of these four images generated by ai i really like the first one i went for upscaling the first image and this is what i got after that i did a light upscale redo of this particular image and then i was able to generate this 
uh, I was also experimenting with a uh, colorful stuff so um, the, the if, if all the other prompts remain same but I would go ahead and do uh, I'll just add a word called colorful so if entire thing is the same the entire prompts are going to remain the same only one change I have added the word colorful once you add that you are going to get you different variants of colors for all the four uh, images and after that i really like the first one which i went ahead and did an upscaling uh, so this is the first image which i upscale so i hope you are okay with this particular image of the watercolor let's go ahead and see our next image a watercolor image of a kingfisher and I think this looks absolutely stunning, wonderful. So I'll just go ahead and show you what are the prompts that I have used for this particular image. It's Kingfisher, uh, uh, a palette knife, an abstract finger paint, watercolor, colorful graphic design. And then I have added my Yoji Shinkawa. So again, by the style of Yoji Shinkawa. And this, these are the four images I got out of that. I really liked the one. Uh, with the ups uh, I really like the fourth one right the fourth one this particular one which is why I went ahead and upscaled the fourth particular version so I hope you're able to see the prompts and you are okay with the prompts of the Kingfisher that we end the watercolor session and go towards the oil paint this is the first image where the trees if I go ahead and show you the prompts it will be more clear this is a Norwegian forest and the trees that has come out of the oil painting is just fabulous okay so i hope you're able to see the screen i'll zoom in so that you can see the prompts better uh, what i have given is light norwegian forest deer rain dawn and this is the main thing oil painting on canvas this is what i'm giving uh, so it has again given me four different pictures out of which i like the the second one I went ahead and created variations of this particular picture uh, I gave in this particular uh, words extra right so I gave in integrate details reflection on water which is why you are seeing the reflection on the water now wide angle shot hyper detail hyper realistic extremely integrate dramatic cinematic epic volumetric lighting octane render and ultra HD 8k so after giving all these sort of prompts there was a difference uh, actually a lot of difference between the previous image and this particular image right so yeah, so out of that again I like the second variation uh, let me go ahead and show you the second variation yeah so since it's a variation I have created again AI will give you four different variations to uh, the image that was in your second quadrant and then we had upscale picture of the second quadrant uh, which is which is this one right and we arrived to this particular guy right so i again sort of remaster right so you can see this remastered so i did a remaster over here uh, you'll get a new option of remastering and after remaster ai will give you actually two images okay which you're seeing and which is uh, which is why i i really like the second one I went ahead and upscale this okay so uh, we, we just came with this particular uh, image now if I zoom this image you will clearly see that it looks like an actual oil painting like you can see the brush strokes even if we go ahead and zoom this further right you can you can actually see the brush strokes okay and this actually looks like an actual uh, oil on uh, oil painting on canvas really great okay so let us go ahead and see the next image okay this is something known and if I if I zoom in this infographic you'll find the integrate details to each and every body part of this uh, you know machine or Android so let's go ahead and see the prompts that uh, I've used um, okay so this is a mechanical warrior military infographic design sheet detailed ultra detailed integrate details okay uh, after that i've got these four images the first one uh, the the infographic design sheet for the first image i really liked which i went ahead and upscaled and after that i got this particular infographics and guys if you're liking my videos i request you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel and leave comments what, what are the next topics you'd like me to make videos on and happy ai bye bye